guys, it's Oo, and today we're doing another chatty get ready with me. And I'm hoping that this way I'll get more comfortable with the camera and I'll just, you know, a little bit slowly see, uh, ease into the whole YouTube thing. And it'll be um, me getting comfortable talking and doing my makeup at the same time. So just run on in there and get started and just, you know, ah, ah, something in my eye. <laughs> something. Oh, there's something in my eye. It was an eyelash. I went to my eye. Ooh, blasted. How to be happy. I think the most important thing is to be grateful. To completely look at your life and your circumstances and to, to tell yourself that you're just so thankful that you have everything that you have right now. I feel like making sure my hair is out of my way. I'm going to be starting with the Smashbox primer and I love this primer. Next, we're going to follow up with foundation. I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. With this product, I like to build up. It's pretty watery, very workable. It's great for dry skin. What better way to talk about how to be happy than on a day when I'm not very happy? You know those days when you just wake up and you're just not really in the best mood? A lot of my peers, a lot of my friends and family, they know me to be a very optimistic, very happy person. And they're always asking, like, hey, ooh, how can you be so optimistic and so happy? And the truth is that how to be happy is to just know that you can't be happy all the time. Being happy is accepting yourself when you're happy and when you're not happy, and that's okay. It's okay to be a little cray-cray sometimes. After you're grateful, being patient, and knowing that happiness is in the distance and you're gonna reach it very soon so it could be as short of goal as just going out for coffee and you know doing little things that you want to do and as far back as reaching a career goal or reaching a financial status that you've been wanting to be at or maybe a social status I've been traveling back and forth between Toronto and the States and so it's a little bit disorganized I have a lot of things in my luggage and a lot of things packed so sometimes I get a little bit frustrated with how things are, but I just always remind myself to be grateful for even being able to travel back and forth. Let's say if you're not completely happy right now, try to overcome that. Overcoming that obstacle is going to gear you and give you the right tools to get over similar circumstances in the future and, you know, just kind of um, enjoying the moment that you're in and then knowing that when happiness happens, it's going to be a natural thing. Go looking for it. Or it could be a natural thing, so it could just happen. My face, I have some dark circles. And today, like if I bend down like this, you can really see it. <laughs> it's not bent down like that. You don't want to see that. What I'm going to use to cover my dark circles is this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion for dark circles. I just started using this, so I'm not really sure how it works. But so far, I like it. And then I also like to take this product and put it on anywhere else in my face that a little bit of discolor. That'd be the mustache right here. Am I looking like a ghost yet? Yeah, it's a little bit too white, but don't worry. We don't want to have that super white raccoon eyes. So we're going to blend that out and we're going to use the concealer. I like to use the Becca concealer. This one is really good because I actually didn't start using concealer until very recently. So this one blends out very well. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin. So if you want to start using concealer and you haven't always been using concealer, this is a good starter. Guys and gales, next we're going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm going to use this to powder my under eyes first, just to make sure that doesn't crease. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. Love this item. Pretty sure this is pearl. I use a small pump like this, and I like to use my hands first. And now that I've used all that product and put it on my face, I take my beauty blender and I just blend that out. It makes you glow, but it's not greasy. Now I powder the rest of my face. So to do my brows, I like to use a spoolie like this. I take a bit of hairspray and I use it to set my eyebrows ahead of time. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I like to use it because it gives me a bit more control 
and it adds color in very well. What I love using right now, which is my favorite, is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in Lingering. I just love this because it's very light and I have a lot of control, so I can do a bit of like fake micro lighting with this. Don't I kind of look like Black Panther with this necklace? Looks like I've got that claw necklace. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But get that out of your image now because this is supposed to be nice and glam. But you know, I don't have a problem with being an Asian Black Panther superhero either. Yeah. Except for, you know, I don't press it and turn into Black Panther. I press it and I turn into like, you know, like a fat panda or something. and just sleep and eat and cuddle. Let's get started with the look. Today I'm going to use the Tarte Select In Bloom palette by Tarte. It's getting all over color. I found that being happy takes being grateful. It takes being patient, knowing that happiness is within the distance. And also part of being happy is being generous with forgiveness. Be easy to forgive others for any wrongs that they've done or anything that you feel like they've done because a lot of the times I've found that you just have to give people the benefit of the doubt. Just don't assume that all people are bad. Assume that all people are good and that would make you so much happier. It's very tiring to, to go about life assuming that you know, this person's out to get you or this other person's out to do something bad to you. Be fast to not keep things in your heart and keep records of wrongs. So that's something that's really helped me. There's what you should do and then there's doing it and a lot of times we're all practicing the doing. And we're not just you know, over here preaching like, oh, these are all things you should do. There's doing it and that part is hard. So I'm not saying that I've 100% perfected this, but I'm still working on it. Nevertheless, this is something that I feel like I've been able to do and I've been able to improve. It has helped me so much in my life. I am a very introspective person and it's good but it's also been a terrible con as well because then I tend to overthink everything that everybody ever does in my life. And uh, I found that the best way to go to sleep and have peaceful sleep and not think about everything that happened throughout the day is if I just, it's actually, it takes more energy to hold a grudge than it is to forgive. It's harder to forgive. Once you've forgiven, the road to healing is a lot better. I think sometimes we hold a grudge thinking that they don't deserve you being nice to them. It's not so much what you're doing for them, it's what you're doing for yourself. You're forgiving them so you can move on or so you don't have to think about it, so you can be in a better state of mind, you can be happier, right? So I think sometimes we're not happy with ourselves because we always feel like we can do better. The worst critic is yourself. I am definitely my worst critic. You know what I like to ask? I like to ask two questions to myself when I feel disappointed or when I feel like I didn't do things to the best of my abilities. I ask myself, did I try my very hardest? Did you do everything that you could within the amount of time that you had and the amount of resources that you were given? The answer is yes. Then ask yourself the other question, which is, did you reach the results that you were aiming for? And if the first answer is yes, you did try your hardest within the time and the the resources that you were given and no, you did not reach the, the goal that you're aiming for, then give yourself a break. You tried your hardest and that really is all that we try to do in life. We try our hardest. Not everywhere that we're, we're trying to aim for, we're gonna reach. And sometimes that's for the better. It's for the best because you never know where that's gonna lead you in life. It's gonna pave another way and you're gonna go down another path that is 10,000 times better than what didn't work out for you. So you have to have the best scenario in mind if the answer is no to that you did not try your hardest within the amount of time or resources that you were provided, and the answer is also no, you did not reach your goal, then you have reason to be disappointed. You have reason to tell yourself, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do, and there's a lot of things that you can try to do in order to reach your goal, right? But if you tried your hardest, then give yourself a break. Just smile, let it go, and if there's gonna be a second time around. Think about ways to improve the second time around, and that's the best thing you can really do. That's the best way to stay happy, the best way to enjoy the little wins that we all get in life, the best ways to celebrate ourselves, our capacities, and where we wanna go. So next, we're gonna focus on deepening the crease. Woo! Okay, that is dark. Don't be scared, ladies and gents. Let's just slowly blend it in. You know, sometimes I go in 
to a color and then I forget what color I go in. So this is good. I think it was this one. Oh no, it wasn't! Oh no! <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's definitely Rebel that I went to the first time around. And that's okay, we can fix this. And to even it out, let's go into the leader color. Fine, I'll use this on my eyes today. Next, we're gonna use this color by ColourPop, which is called Sequin. To blend it out, I'm gonna be using this color right here, Smarty Pants. To make the, the corners a little bit darker, I'm going to be using ColourPop's Color and Static. And let's pack that on the edges. And let's add that to the bottom. Also, being happy is not worrying about what other people think of you or what other people tell you you should be doing. There's going to be so many opinions out there about what you should do and what you shouldn't do. I have found that the best way to be happy is to just be yourself. And that is a really hard thing to do. And I know this personally because me going into this new venture took me following my heart, embracing my weirdness, embracing my individuality, embracing things that make me unique. That has brought me a lot of happiness. Being okay with who I am. Learning to be happy is learning to embrace who you are, not caring what other people think, and going out there and just, it's okay to just be you and, and be proud. Don't, don't let it be arrogance. Be proud, always stay humble and also live with integrity. My dad always told me that it's easy to be the bad person, but it's very hard to live life the right way, meaning trying to do the right things according to your morals and values and not letting that be interfered by what other people tell you you should do. So it's gonna be hard to do the right thing, but when you do the right thing, you're gonna be so much happier. You're gonna know, you're gonna know what sits well with you and what doesn't. There's going to be that gut instinct that's going to kick in when you're doing something that you feel like you should not have done or should not be doing. And that gut instinct right there is what you should listen to. Let's stop looking ghostly and clownish and let's start putting some color on our face, which is contouring. So again, I'm using my favorite Shape and Shade Kat Von D contour palette. We're going to go in and use Somber. I'm gonna be using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. And I actually prefer this one over the Kat Von D. I have both, but I really enjoy this one with the belt. Okay, so now that we have got eyeliners for days, we are done. And we're gonna go over that with an eyeshadow just to set everything in place. I love using Jaclyn Hills Black in her palette. I'm actually gonna be using Activist in the Tartlet palette once more, just to go through the very teeny tiny edges. This is how I put on my lashes. And if you guys have a better way, please let me know because I just acrobat this ish. And what I'm gonna do while I wait is to crimp my lashes. Woo, these are dramatic. These are black. Looks like butterflies just landed on my lashes and I'm ready to take flight. That's how dramatic they are. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensation Waterproof in Black. This is L'Oreal's Pencil Perfect in Espresso. It's a brown eyeliner and I like to use this for the lower lash line. It is nice and smoked top and bottom and looks like I am a creepy witch. Next, I'm going to be using the Rockateur Blush by Benefit. This is Virgin from Morphe. Yeah, you can make me 
Next, I'm going to set my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So we're done with the makeup look and I really hope you guys enjoyed that and also it's just great to talk about how to be happy. All of us need to find ways to be the best version of ourselves and it's just great. I'm happy that I was able to share about how I stay happy, continue to be grateful, be patient about what's coming in the future. Your future is just right there and happiness is waiting right there. Um, Forgive others, be easy to let things go, and just remember to smile, be kind, and be easy on yourself. And at the end of the day, just do what's right in your heart. Keep on living with integrity, follow your morals and values, and stay true to who you are, and that's how you're gonna be the happiest that you can be. Stay tuned, remember to subscribe, and hit the bell button if you wanna see more videos, and I will see you guys in the next video.